Great, so in this lecture you want to look at social signals and understand if they're important for SEO and getting us higher in the search engine results. And in one line, social signals are important but they're not important for SEO. They impact SEO indirectly. So, you know, what are the social signals that we're talking about? We've seen that links posted directly on social media are no follow. So we saw that using the tool in the last lecture. Social shares are also not counted as backlinks. Now, some of the other social signals that come up in the conversation about whether they impact SEO are things like the number of shares with the URL, the number of people that like your brand on Facebook, the number of Facebook shares, number of Twitter followers, number of tweets mention your brand, including a link to your website. There's a lot of debate in the SEO world whether these really impact uh, your rankings in the search engines. Some fairly well-known SEOs have done some experiments to show some results, but really the definitive answer that came back from Google was, yes, there can be correlation in terms of content that's widely shared also ranks high in the search engines, but it doesn't mean it's the causation. So really to sum it up, it's that, you know, SEO signals do not impact SEO. And really to nail this point, I'm going to show you a video by Matt Cutts. He's our friend from Google who really feels a lot of these type of questions. So let's have a quick look at that video now. So here we have the video from Matt Cutts. Let's just watch this um, and then I'll explain kind of what he's, he's just said. Today we have a question from Ryan in Michigan. Ryan asks... Are Facebook and Twitter signals part of the ranking algorithms? How much do they matter? Interesting question. So let's try to walk through this a little bit. Um, Facebook and Twitter uh, pages are treated like any other pages in our web index. And so if something you know, occurs on Twitter or occurs on Facebook and we're able to crawl it, then we can return that in our search results. But as far as doing special, specific work to sort of say, oh, you have this many followers on Twitter or this many likes on Facebook, to the best of my knowledge, we don't currently have any signals like that in our web search ranking algorithms. Now let me talk a little bit about why not. Um, we have to crawl the web in order to find pages on those two web properties. And um, we've had at least one experience where we were blocked from crawling for about a month and a half. And so the idea of doing a lot of special engineering work to try to extract some data from web pages when we might get blocked from being able to crawl those web pages in the future is something where the engineers would be a little bit leery about doing that. Um, it's also tricky because Google crawls the web and as we crawl the web we are sampling the web at finite periods of time. We're, we're crawling and fetching a particular web page. And so if we're fetching that particular web page, we know what it said at one point in time, but something on that page could change. Someone could change the relationship status or someone could block a follower. And so it would be a little um, unfortunate if we tried to extract some data from the pages that we crawled and we later on found out that, for example, a, a wife had blocked an abusive husband or something like that. And just because we happened to crawl at the exact moment when those two profiles were linked, we started to return pages that we had crawled. So because we're sampling an imperfect web, we have to worry a lot about identity when identity is already hard. And so unless we were able to get some way to solve that impasse where we had better information, that's another reason why the engineers would be a little bit wary or a little bit leery of trying to you know, extract data when that data might change and we wouldn't know it because we were only crawling the web. Okay guys, so to really come, summarize what he was saying there is social signals are not important in terms of Google search algorithm. Reason one being that they can be blocked from social media sites, so that causes problems from engineers. Um, and also, secondly, in terms of that their searches really show the web at a snapshot in time, and if the relationships in terms of the pages, the identity of the people on those pages can change very uh, all the time, then that also causes problems in terms of uh, accuracy from their point of view. So I think that's a pretty good answer as to, 
you know, where we stand at the moment. That doesn't mean it'll change in future. And it also doesn't mean that social media is not important in general. So let's just quickly review that even though it might not be that, it, it might not impact SEO directly, it is important for other reasons. So let's look at that now. So let's look at why social is still important. Well, number one, links build awareness of what you are offering. So it doesn't matter if there are no follow links. If when people see them, it creates awareness about your business and what you're offering. They don't even need to be clicked. They just need to be seen and they're creating awareness. Links can also lead to profits. So even if there are no follow, people can become aware, click on the link, um, say, go onto the site, do a free trial, and then ultimately they purchase your product. So again, that's hugely beneficial even though it might not help you rank in the search engine results. And also, uh, links can create more links. So, say for example, someone posts something on Twitter, um, like a citation, I go have a look at it, I think it's a great resource, I write a blog post about it, and I create a do follow link to the resource. So, that's a way that it can indirectly, um, you know, create links that actually do matter for SEO. So that's I hope that cleared that up for you if, if you if you had any questions about that. I want to say that the one exception in terms of social media that actually directly impacts your rankings in the search engines is Google Plus. That probably won't might not be too surprising since Google Plus is made by Google and obviously that gives them a little bit of an advantage there. So that's why in the next section we're going to spend uh, one lecture looking at that in um, some more detail because it's the one thing that really can affect your rankings directly. So that's quite exciting and uh, we're going to look at that in more detail later on.